crap. Let me start by saying it first. I know it's been a couple months since I posted it. Um, it got pretty quiet for about a month. And then um, we decided to uh, put in our notice to vacate in our house. So we're, it was a 60 day notice. We did it a month ago. And so we're packing, we're moving. I don't know if we're going to move together. I hope we do. This thing's fucking, it's tearing us apart. It's causing he's such a huge gap in between us, you know. I love her more than life. So maybe things will get better. I'm, I know I haven't seeked for any kind of help, but I am now. I need to find a medium that's close by that can help me get rid of this thing. I don't need a paranormal investigator. I don't need the Foreman brothers. They're just paranormal investigators. They. I don't believe that they could get rid of entities, attachments, or whatever it is. I do believe that it is for sure from Darling. So it was, um, it's been quiet for about a month until we started packing and um, about three in the morning okay my cameras they're set up on motion detection so I'm not going over hours and hours of video and plus it alerts me I don't know what's going on with my camera it's my cell phone I don't know why that's doing that it's not green screen it's real anyways about three in the morning, my camera detected movement in the dining room and recorded some dark figure walking underneath the camera and then it fucked the camera up. Like, yeah, it like fucked it up, moved it. And then um, the next night, um, another one of my cameras, uh, went off, started recording into my office, and there was somebody or something standing there, it looked like, but then, about a week later, um, the camera that's in my office I recorded something coming from the dining room and this thing was it was huge it was tall like super fucking tall I had to duck to get in the doorway it looked just like the thing that I saw dialing but way fucking taller. This thing had to have been like eight feet tall. And then the camera just stopped. Right as it walked into my office, it stopped. And that's what happened when the thing moved my camera the first night. Um, but anyways. Yeah. So... I don't know what to think about that. I um, never told my wife about any of those happenings. She's, uh, she's been through enough. I don't think that she's mentally able to deal with something like this. And most people aren't. You may say or think you are, but you're not. 
I'm not. And I don't know how I'm still sane. I think I have a good ability to shove things way down below, you know, suppress them. I know it's not good, but sometimes it is. Um, that being said, I'm still freaked out, though. I don't know what to do. So, if there's any mediums that are close to my area and in Sacramento, California, if there's any mediums that know how to get rid of this, please let me know. made it to the edge of the planet. Um, we're going to set up a camp right here. Uh, we're going to call this base camp, bub. Okay? This is, okay. It's a blanket. Survival blanket. Because uh, uh, now we got to figure out how we're going to walk on that. Okay? Uh, it's not going to be easy, but Jesus did it, so I think we can manage. Um, so now we're going to set up camp. And, uh, you know, hunker down for the night. Okay, sit down, badass. That's okay. I gotta hold down this uh, survival blanket because the gale force winds out here are pretty strong. Uh, here's my wife. Right here. I hope she's the uh, brains of the operation. So, babe, uh, now that we're at the edge of the planet, <clears throat> we have this uh, water. Is that what you call it? Water? Ocean. 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 High quality issue. Yes. Um, so we gotta figure out how to walk on that. To gate. Well, I'll tell you later, I know. Really? Yeah. Cause Jesus knows too. Pretty Did he teach you? I'm pretty much. He's supposed to teach me and he flicked.
Someone told me that uh, I need to let go of all of my anger and sadness and hatred and anything negative. I just gotta let it go, and I don't know how to do that. But I said if I let all of that go and let in the goodness, the love and happiness and all that stuff. then it would go away. I don't know how true that is. I don't know. I, I'm not a religious person. So, I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to let go of all this darkness that I have inside me, you know?